me a little bit about the thinking behind the, you know, the slight rebrand, the fact that it's Marlborough now. Yeah. Sure. What, what was the thinking behind that? Well, well, we've we've tried to simplify the business essentially. So if you look at if you look at the overall arching group, we've got Marlborough Group Holdings Limited, and we've got two fundamental businesses. Um, we have an ACD business, um, which is called IFSL, and we have a, an investment management business. Now, we had two ACDs and two investment managers, so it starts to get complicated. So let's simplify it, and then what we'll have is one ACD, IFSL, and one investment business, Marlborough. And that will provide the best bits of both, if you like, coming together within the Marlborough group. I like that. That's a, that's a good answer. And, and a very nice um, soundbite, very succinctly put. Thank you for that. I'm, I'm interested, this is a big interview, so I'm interested in you, you know, what's your background? And feel free to take a couple of minutes with this one. I mean, it's, what I'm trying to say to you is, sum up your entire career in two minutes, which is a crazy thing oh, for me Gary. to ask. Oh, <laughs> oh, How do you do that? Yeah. But, uh, you know, feel free to, um, to expand. Yeah. But in terms of, um, it, it look, if somebody's never met you before, sure. they don't they don't know who you are yeah. for, for whatever reason. Tell us about your background. How, for, this is the first question. What's your background? How do you get into financial services? Sure. So, so I, I mean, I, I shocked myself earlier today because I was just thinking, right, I'm sure Gary's going to ask about the, the background, etc. So I was just working it through. And do you know what? And I hope you're going to say that you don't look it. But I've been in financial services for 40 years next year. You don't look it. Oh, I get perfect. it. I'm going to quickly. Thank, yeah. thank you. So, so <laughs> forty literally, years. So, so really, forty years wow. of, of I've always been in financial services. Forty years of work. They didn't say, well, okay. So, so how do you how do you deconstruct that in terms of that forty years? And ten years has been with with life companies. So I started with Life Co's. You know, learnt my trade with Life Co's, if you like. And then I moved from there into an advisory role. So of providing advice to you know to the end consumer, which I absolutely loved really good and, and providing advice and then running businesses that did so. Then I moved and I moved out of that providing advice and for the next 20 years I've been focused on technology and investment management. You know, so, so if you like, I, I see the first, if, so, so if, I, if I focus on those three parts, the first was around education, learning of the market, the DNA if you like, and that was around the insurance companies. Then as an advisor, you just really got to understand the impact and the value that you're providing, that the, the, the industry or the profession, as I like to call it, provides to end consumers. And I think that's really key in all of our decisions. But then for the next 20 years, what I've done is focus on technology. So the, the things that are coming down the track that make a difference to either providers or to, to the um, advisory market that helps from a technology perspective and of course, from an investment management perspective. So if you like, Marlborough after 40 years, you know, they, there's, there's a phrase, magnus opus, you know, which basically means just bringing all of that capability together. So, so, so I hope that the, the, the experiences that I've had over 40 years frame what we might better do over the next five or 10 years, if you like. No, absolutely. Just, just thinking of, um of the changes that you've seen. You know, I've been in the industry myself um, for a shocking amount of years. I, when, I, when I look back, uh, my first ever job was as a, a Tide agent for yes. refuge assurance. Yes, it yes, exists I now. That. Yeah. So I was a Tide agent and I was in insurance, you know, collecting the money. Yes. And, um, and then pulling out a, um, a policy document and just saying sign here and, and filling it in with the client. This is before the first fact find, one page fact find yes, came out. Yes, I, I've looked at the the way this industry's changed, and from from those days, and it's like night and day, isn't it? Yeah. it's a completely different world. Uh, well, some some things are, and some things have stayed the same. Right. You know, yeah. so some things have changed. Obviously, the use of technology, those sorts of things. But 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 what's not changed? Well, it's about people. It's about relationships. It's about trust. It's about putting that end consumer at the heart of everything that you think about. So there's a number of things that I think haven't changed. You know, my first job, you talk about refuge, I worked for the General Accident All right. Fire and Life yeah. Assurance Corporation back right. in 1982, you know, and that's where I started. So in the morning I used to get the files out 
as a as a <laughs> as a young one. And then in the afternoon, I used to put them away, and that was a pretty much the you know. Um, so so that that was the start of the career, if you like. But but I wouldn't change it for the world, you know, because those ten years in Life Co. You see the mechanics of how things work for the, for for benefit, and also if you say, well, actually. In another company, maybe I wouldn't do it the same. So I think these experiences change. But I think that the, the, the biggest issue for me is just just the change of technology, you know, yeah. the technology, and also dare I say the shift in relationships, you know, because you know product providers paid a commission to a to an advisor. Polarization just shifted that. And of course, it's back to 2012 in the UK. But obviously, with 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 you know, in the Middle East, that that's you know, evolving and changing as as we're talking today. But in 2012, that whole focus of an independent advisor being on the side of the client in their in their terms of business, I think, was very very important. And then obviously, commissions changed and went to adv advice charging, etc. So there was a lot of change that was going on there. And I think. The, 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 the partners that supported them best are those that have grown over time. And that, for me, is what a great opportunity for Marlborough to focus in these particular markets where there is change, where we believe that we might be able to support, and then, if you like, get our hands dirty with the relationships and really help support grow businesses and, and grow the relationships. Mm -hmm.